Geylang is back in business. After COVID-19 safe management measures were eased on March 29th, Singaporeans have flocked back to Geylang for food and entertainment. Late night eateries, legal massage parlors and pubs have seen a boost in trade. But that boost also extends to illicit activities. For three weeks during May, the Straits Times observed groups of people buying unlicensed drugs and engaging sex workers on the streets. Street peddlers and sex workers are not shy. And the peddlers, who were seen daily, sold their wares very publicly. Deals were seen being made between Lorongs 14 and 20. For sale, a menu of contraband. Cough syrup, prescription pills, e-vaporizers, contraband cigarettes, and according to some residents, drugs and syringes. The unsavory dealings have upset those who live in the area, worried about their or their family's safety. And those who spoke to the Straits Times declined to give their full names for fear of reprisal. Resident Mrs. Lim says that she was getting used to quiet streets during the pandemic, but now the sleaze is back, and even in the early evenings. The peddlers are even blatant about setting up base at eateries, says migrant worker Mr. Raja. The peddlers take up tables and rarely move, even when it is crowded. The legal brothels were ordered to close when the pandemic struck in 2020 and are still closed today. So now sex workers sit out in the open, trying to engage with any men who walk by. In the back lanes, the discussion of prices is audible. One sex worker could be heard negotiating that her services would be $50 plus $12 for the room. Of the four places most often used to sell prescription pills, one, at an eatery along Galen Road, even offered a form of drive through service. Drugs were seen hidden in a nearby cooler box, under a canvas sheet or a large pillbox. Outside a nearby minimart, luxury cars and passers-by were seen making quick pickups. Towards the end of May, the peddlers were checked and their particulars and photos were taken. Yet the next day, their operation had resumed. At Lorong 19, dealers operating by a dark shop walkway received a new supply of contraband. While waiting for customers and openly smoking e-vaporizers, one peddler appeared to be fiddling with a switchblade. Police patrols are often seen in Galang. On May 20th, a driver failed to stop during a police enforcement check and sped off, later colliding with a motorcycle and a car. The driver was arrested for possession of an offensive weapon, along with traffic-related and drug-related offences. The Tobacco Association of Singapore told ST it recognises that the adaptability of smugglers could have contributed to the growth of illicit vaping products in Singapore. It added that criminal syndicates would likely exploit the border reopening and profit from the significant tobacco tax and price gaps with neighbouring countries. A joint statement to the Straits Times by the Health Sciences Authority and the Central Narcotics Bureau said that along with the police, the agencies work closely together to prevent, deter and detect illegal activities in Singapore. It added that with the easing of safe management measures, the authorities are keeping a close watch for unlawful activities. Between 2019 and 2021, HSA has prosecuted 29 people for selling or importing medicines illegally. Those prosecuted face a fine of up to $50,000 and or up to two years in jail. However, some peddlers are willing to take the risk and at the end of May, the groups of street peddlers seen in Geylang were still operating.